I think this suspension by Major League Baseball was bogus. I think that Josh Donaldson was done wrong on this. I'm talking about this specific relationship with Tim Anderson and Josh Donaldson. Yes, George Floyd happened. That is absolutely true. Biggest voice at ESPN, Stephen A. Smith. If there was communication between the two and Josh Donaldson comes out and he explains where it emanated from, then if you're Tim Anderson, you need to tell us, excuse me, you found it disrespectful. What about what he said that y'all were talking? Y'all just talked a few months ago. Let's go back to what Stephen A. prefaced with because he's leaving out a lot. Are you aware at all of what... Tim Anderson had to say in direct response to Josh Donaldson's assertion that it came from the Sports Illustrated article where Tim Anderson called himself the next Jackie Robinson um, and that he had been calling Tim Anderson Jackie on several occasions. This is important. Here's why. What feels like a harmless question is actually the complete opposite. First off, Stephen A., you are leaving out why Tim Anderson called himself that in that article. Context matters, so let's go over it. In that very article, Anderson spoke on feeling isolated because baseball and black ball players make up roughly 7% of the league's demographic. He has said he feels isolated and out of place being a black man in the game, the outlet wrote. He says he feels out of place in baseball like he belongs on the field, but not in the game. Because of this loneliness and how he would like the game to be more inclusive, cool, and fun, breaking baseball's old school, predominantly white ways, he said, I kind of feel like today's Jackie Robinson. That's huge to say, but it's cool, man, because he changed the game. And I feel like I'm getting to a point to where I need to change the game. The second is Stephen A is taking the wrong party side in this story. He is painting the false picture of Tim Anderson and Josh Donaldson just joshing around as old pals when that's not the case. It is unequivocally false to state that. Hendricks, seen here, gave a quote that Smith also blissfully left out of his analysis this morning, and it goes as follows. That's completely inappropriate. And then after hearing what was said after the game, usually you have inside jokes with the people you get along with, not people that don't get along at all. So that statement right there was complete BS. But then again, my feelings toward the individual in question are pretty well documented that we don't get along. I've now spoken to, I think it's four separate clubhouses that he's been in and as a whole, none of them got along. So Donaldson trying to whip out that narrative is complete and utter BS. In this clubhouse, we have Tim Anderson's back in everything. That was just a completely unacceptable thing and trying to whip it out as being an inside joke, that's horse blink. They don't have those sorts of things going on. It's like having an inside joke with a guy who you are a nemesis with, I guess you could say. But that's not how it went down in this clubhouse. And I don't understand how he ever thought about it like that. It's just straight delusional. Y'all just talked last season. You talked the season before that. Was it offensive then? Because when you start talking about things mm -hmm. moving and things changing, wait a minute here. What if Tim Donaldson, let me ask you, uh, uh, I'm not asking you this. It's a rhetorical question. If Josh Donaldson sat up there and said, you ain't no damn Jackie Robinson. Should, the, should, 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 should MLB suspend him off of that? I got to be clear about this. I just don't understand why he continues to go to, they have a good relationship. They have a friendly relationship. They don't. They are not friends. These two despise one another. So perusing around the hypotheticals when we concretely know that they do not have a good relationship is blasphemous. As I brought to you yesterday, SB Nation's Ricky O'Donnell put it rather well, writing Donaldson's side of the story that the nickname was said in good faith between two players who are friendly with each other is extremely hard to believe given the recent history between Donaldson and the White Sox. Just last week, Donaldson hit Anderson with a hard tag at third base that led to another benches clearing argument. Last season, Donaldson taunted White Sox ace Lucas Giolito during a game, which led to an escalating battle of words and a part 
parking lot confrontation. Donaldson was trying to get under Anderson's skin by calling arguably the biggest black star in MLB today by the name of the man who broke baseball's color barrier. It turns Robinson into a punchline and flippantly overlooks the struggles black players have had to endure in the game. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You see? You see? Here's how you know Stephen A. Smith is winning over conservatives. Pro-Trump outlet outkick. Created by this man, a grifter named Clay Travis, who realizes the ever-flowing dollars his newly founded side of the aisle offers, like, for example, his takeover of Rush Limbaugh's radio gig, access to Republicans, and on occasion when they are in power, the freaking White House, a man who has said, I don't believe Donald Trump is racist. I wouldn't be voting for him if I believed he was racist. And I fundamentally reject the idea that America is a racist country. In fact, I think America is the least racist country. <laughs> <laughs> the least racist country in the history of the world. And a dude who called the coronavirus a giant hoax has come to the defense of Stephen A. Smith on this dais. Knowing the outlet's history, it is as predictable as Clay Travis voting for Donald Trump or any Republican in 2024. The day after the incident, when Anderson came up to the plate, it really did feel like the dismal days of Jackie Robinson were being channeled as the Yankees faithful booed him vociferously and chanted, Jackie. In the words of longtime sports columnist David Steele, it's boy, remember your place night at the ballpark in the brawn of the nations, Dave Zirin. There is a bigger issue here than just the morality play that went down in the Bronx. Consider the idea that Josh Donaldson actually used the word Jackie as a racial slur. On one level, this is shocking. Jack Roosevelt Robinson is a hero of the First Order who walked through hell in a gasoline suit precisely so players Players like Tim Anderson wouldn't have to endure the racism that he faced. His name should forever be remembered not only as a synonym for courage, but also as a reminder that baseball, not merely society, was extremely racist when he attempted to integrate the sport. The problem with the way Major League Baseball celebrates and remembers Robinson is that it talks a lot about the first part with abstract words like bravery without discussing exactly what kind of athletic environment he had to brave in. If the league does discuss context, it's always that word again, society, as if racism was just something in the air, not something that baseball as an institution was actually built upon. Major League Baseball fits Robinson into a neat scheme of segregation. Integration, celebration, its desire for marketing and patriotism, which are really one and the same is for baseball to symbolize post-racialism. This is a cruel joke, especially now as all authoritarian thugs organize openly while the GOP cheers them on and, well, the Dems yawn. The fact is that Josh Donaldson represents a lasting culture within Major League Baseball. It's a culture in which Robinson is praised abstractly, but current players like Anderson are routinely disrespected. Alienating black players with magnetism, like Anderson, has also discouraged a generation of young athletes who choose not to play baseball because of how Anderson has been treated. That will cause the great sport to suffer immeasurably. The entire sport pays a price if it holds up a sign that says, not for you. We also pay a social cost beyond the generational loss of new talent by allowing racist ideas to fester in the national pastime. Calling someone Jackie Robinson should be the ultimate compliment. That it can be used as a slur only tells us just how much work this league still has to do to confront its own ugly past and reckon with how that past informs its present.